Now, I ask an open question. <coughs> How unified is, we'll call it the convicted community? Just Very a important. question. Just a question. Okay? Now, until there is unity, internally, it's going to be very, very difficult to move as a group to influence society. Many different voices, lots of birdies talking, Good but no flocks. Good point. Good point. Good point. No flocks. The message, yes. like you said, the message, it needs to be a message. The message is, and I have one for my stuff, it's called I Am That Change. So it needs to be a development process that shows that these people who have been convicted change. Because I've never been convicted of none of that stuff. But I have people in my family who have did different things, right? So if I'm a, if I'm trying to get a job and there's somebody who then went through this stuff trying to get a job, why should they get a job before me and I've never done anything wrong, quote unquote wrong? So that's that's why it's such a big fight for people who've been convicted of something. So with Break the Cycle or any organization, it needs to be a develop shows a development of this person who was incarcerated or whatever happened to them, that they have made these steps to change. Now we have more power to fight, to come at you and say, well, look, this is what happened to this person, but over the course of time since they've been out, this is what they have done to rebuild and show, you know, what they've done now. Well, now when what Mike was talking about with the criteria and checking my background, you can see where I started and now where I'm at now. See, you have to show that you have changed. Because if I'm an owner of a company, I don't care what you've done. If you're not showing me progress, it's just like when I play football yes. and you and, and I'm coaching a team. If you're not showing progress, you're not getting on my field. That's right. It's just that simple. 